everyone, Cubic King 77 here from acsyndicate.net here to do a video showing you how to fin finally manually update your Samsung Epic 4G Touch from Sprint up to Ice Cream Sandwich FF18. This is the official build. This will show you how to manually update from stock EL29. So first of all, I'm gonna go to menu settings, scroll down, go to about phone. Under about phone, you'll see I am on Gingerbread 2.3.6 under build number. It will say Gingerbread EL29. You must be on EL29 to update this. Um, I'm no, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions in regards to what if I'm rooted. Um, to answer that, I'm not positive yet, but generally what happens is if you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, it's not gonna work. So if you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, might as well not even try it. But if you do have stock recovery, if you're just rooted, you have super user in your app drawer, but you have stock recovery, it should work fine uh, if you remove some applications it might not work depending on what you did with your root access so but if you're just stock rooted and no clockwork mod this should work fine anyways let's go ahead and get into it so first of all you're going to want to click on the link in the description of the video it's going to download the update zip file for you uh, what we can do now is actually plug in our device into our pc as well so download that file plug in our device into our PC, uh, let it show up. We're actually gonna need to also have an external SD card. You need to have one to manually update uh, a, a micro SD card. So uh, once you plug it in, we can go to our PC. All right, once we are at our PC, it should pop up something similar to this. Basically, you're gonna need to determine what is the phone's internal storage and what is the SD card storage. Again, we need to put this file on the, on the external SD card. Anyways, uh, go into our downloads and you will see the file that you just downloaded will look like this. It will say, I have a bunch of numbers and letters in front of it, but then you will see EL292FF18. That would be the update zip. We're gonna need to rename it. So go ahead and click on it and rename it to something called update. That's it, just type in update and hit enter. And that's it. It says, uh, do you wanna rename uh, rename this to update two? Apparently I already have one called update. So what I'm gonna do is actually transfer this over to my card. So go ahead and Click and drag it over to where it says card or uh, a removable disk if you have USB debugging on, I believe. So you might have to transfer it over and determine which one is your external SD card. But anyways, transfer that zip file over to your external SD card. All right, so that file has transferred over. I'm actually gonna go ahead and navigate to where it says card and you will see, um, I actually already have one on there. But anyways, uh, you'll see I have update two. You don't want it to say that, you want it to just say update. So erase any excess and just make sure that on your external SD card, that file just says update and that is it. And there we go, so now we are ready. So what we can do is actually, un Whoa, unplug our, um, our device from our PC. So go ahead and unplug it. We can go back to our phone. All right, and once we have that file on our external SD card, we are ready to go. So now we are gonna manually update to this. What actually, what I'm gonna do is to show you that no data gets wiped. Actually, I have a, a application downloaded. I have an application called Catlog downloaded from the Play Store. So I'm gonna put that on my home screen just so you guys can tell I'll remove a calendar application, a voicemail, just to kind of see that my setup is basically the same uh, after I update. So what we can do now is we're gonna need to power off our device. Again, this shouldn't wipe any data. You really shouldn't have to worry about that as it's an official update from Sprint and Samsung. All right, and once your Epic 4G Touch has completely powered off, we are going to need to get into stock recovery. Now, to do so, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of them until the first Samsung screen lights up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it. Samsung screen's gonna light up and I'm gonna let go. So once you see that screen, go ahead and let go of the two buttons and you'll see it has taken you into stock recovery. So let's go ahead and check this out. So. This would be stock recovery. You'll see Android System Recovery 3E. You should not see Clockwork Mod, otherwise it's not gonna work. So to navigate through stock recovery, use the volume keys. So go ahead and press volume down once and you will see apply update from SD card. Um, you can go ahead and use the home button to select anything while in stock recovery. So go ahead and press the home button button once apply update from SD card is there. And then you, you'll you see it will take you to your external SD card. So now you need to navigate and find that update.zip. So go ahead and scroll down with the volume keys until you find update.zip and go ahead and press the power the home button once you uh, highlight it. So press the home button and what it's gonna do is actually automatically find that update zip 
and basically manually update your device to FF18 ice cream sandwich. Uh, the update's actually pretty large, so my guess is it's gonna take a bit of time. Make sure your battery is over like 40% just to be safe. But again, it looks like it's sitting on the screen with Android guy and a basically an orange triangle. Um, it'll probably sit there for a little while while it's loading up the file. Um, I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'll be back once it makes some progress. All right, so as I said, it's gonna go ahead and make some progress. It stayed on that screen with the exclamation point for a little while, so be patient with that screen. Again, then it loaded up. It, it, it only stayed on that screen for a couple minutes, and then it went ahead and brought up this progress bar going on here. So again, it's a large file, so you're gonna need to be patient with this update. I'll give you a general idea of how long it's gonna take. Uh, again, I'll be back once it uh, makes more progress. All right, so it looks like it's finishing up. The progress bar is full. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. Sometimes it goes back into stock recovery and makes you manually press reboot, or sometimes it manu automatically reboots, which is what I, I'm guessing is gonna happen. Um, I, I, I'm not sure how it's gonna handle this, but we will see. So it looks like it uh, is going to automatically reboot our device. Booting on up. Uh, keep in mind that the first boot up uh, after you install Ice Cream Sandwich, it's probably going to take a little bit longer than usual just because it's a full uh, update. Looks like the boot animation is the exact same as it was on Gingerbread. Kind of disappointed they didn't update it. All right, as you can see, Android is upgrading its optimizing the applications. Depending on how many apps you have installed, this could take a while. Uh, again, I only have about one from the Play Store installed, and the rest are all pretty much stock applications. So, I mean, if you had a lot of applications installed, this could take a while with Android is upgrading. So, uh, be patient with that. All right, and phone is fully booted now. As you will see, I uh, am now on Android 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich. You will see my home screen is set up just how it was. I can go ahead and go to Menu. Um, it looks like it's still loading up, so finalizing Android update. All right, and here we go. Android update is successful. I'm gonna hit OK, and now I should go ahead and be able to go to menu, go to settings, um, scroll down, go to about phone. Under about phone, as I said, Android 4.0.4 right there, build number FF18 right there at the end. So we are on ice cream sandwich, Android 4.0.4. Little hidden Easter egg, quickly tap on that Android version, and you will see this little ice cream sandwich droid. Press and hold on him. And you have some flying ice cream sandwich droids. I actually just really skipped through that. Sorry about that. So there you go. There's your flying ice cream sandwich droids. <laughs> All right, but anyways, that's really about it. I'm gonna be doing a full review video on how to do many different things with ice cream sandwich. Talk about the update. Of course, one of the things you can swipe away notifications individually, and there you have it. So that would be how to manually update your Samsung Epic 4G Touch, your Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch from Sprint. Um, up to official ice cream sandwich. Uh, I know a lot of you guys will be very excited to do so. So that's how you do it. Hopefully this worked. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.